Hi, so let's take a look at how to calculate seasonal index with a trend. And as I explained, uh, here is the quarterly data, year 1, 2, 3, and we saw that quarter 1 data, uh, the sales was the lowest, and uh, we see that quarter 3 and 4, the sales is picking up. Also, we saw year 1, compared to year 1, to year three, um, there's an increasing trend here. So not only you have seasonality, but also you have um, uh, the trend. And we want to include all these aspects into, into your um, forecasting. And in that case, we need to do these seasonal indices with a trend. So what we do is, the first step is we have to calculate the centered moving average. And because this is quarterly data, we go to uh, uh, the third column here, the third cell, and then start with equal sign, and uh, uh, we are going to give a different weight. So I'm going to start with parentheses and uh, 0.5 times um, um, 108 plus, plus the second one, and so if that happens, and uh, we have to just type the cell number M7 plus 0.5 times M8, right? I'm um, sorry, M8, we have to just say 8 plus 1.5 times M9, right? So, and then we have to divide it by 4. So we we included 4 quarterly data, and then the 50% of first one and 50% of the next one, and then that's going to produce 132. And you can just, you know, copy that down um, now, and we can go up to here and 147.88. So that's a given. And now, therefore, you can uh, calculate seasonal ratio. Seasonal ratio should be um, 150 divided by 132, and that's 114. And you can also uh, copy that down then you have season ratio for that. If you want to increase one more um, decimal place, then you can do simply um, using that uh, uh, adjustment of the decimal place. So now you have season ratio. Now we can calculate seasonal index uh, now that we have seasonal ratio. Um, for quarter one, we have quarter one of year uh, two, we have uh, 0.851 as a seasonal ratio, meaning that uh, the sales is less than the average. And uh, we have another year uh, quarter one uh, ratio from year three, that's a 0.848. So we just average them out. So use average function. And 0.851 and 0.848 average them, then 0.849 is your seasonal index for quarter one. Quarter two, similarly, you can calculate uh, for quarter two from year two, 0.965 and year three, 0.960, and uh, it gives you 0.963 as your quarterly uh, ratio, seasonal in index. And what about quarter three? Quarter three, we have 1.136, and year three, 1.127, and that's 1.132. And lastly, average quarter four and quarter four, and that's 1.07. So let's see what this is. So total will be sum of um, so average of this, let's see what average of these four of them, 
and that's 1.0. So, um, so this tells us that uh, what we have done is right because it has to uh, sums up to one, right? So we are going for a two digit. Let's go for two digit, and that's your seasonal index. Now you are able to enter the seasonal index here. And uh, uh, quarter one is 0.85, so I'm going to um, put equals 0.85 and again 0.85. Or what you can do is um, you can just uh, copy this one like that. Oh, I'm not so sure why that happened. that because in, in case I need to um, change things around I'm doing it so maybe I can just copy that down uh, somehow it's not working so let's just copy it okay So that's uh, how you can complete this uh, seasonal indices with trend. You found um, what they are.